changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally as you know things are never what they seem to be on today's episode we will be talking about sex in religion do religion really talk about sex as they ought to in a way that is informative and educational and beneficial for members of the congregation well We'll see because uh, we have a guest in the studio that is going to help us answer certain questions that we may have concerning sex and religion. We just noticed that uh, religion and religious leaders have given sex some kind of negative connotation, making it look like um, when we talk about sex or when we talk about involving in sexual relationship or sexual intercourse, that it is actually a taboo when in actuality God is the creator of sex. Joining me today in the studio to talk about sex in religion is a resident pastor of a ministry. He is a lover of God, a recording uh, gospel artist. Happens to be a very good brother of mine and a friend as well. Help me welcome to the Princess Pats Akwabi Show, Pastor Paul Idiom himself. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. Watching the Princess Pata Pablo Show. Pastor Paul, you're welcome to the Princess Pata Pablo Show. Pleasure is mine. You're looking very sharp. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I am so glad that you can make it. I know thank you had a very so busy much. schedule, so and we're not much. taking your presence here for granted at all. So let me get right straight to the point when it has to do with sex and religion. Okay. What is your take on sex and religion, or sex in religion? Sex and religion, okay. All right, thank you so much. I'm so honored to uh, be on this show. Mm -hmm. um, actually, sex is um, a very um, natural and essential need mm -hmm. of man. Very, uh, very important, very um, essential need of man. And mm -hmm. without um, sex, there would be no religion because you know sex is the system by which God, you know, you know, in partnership with a man and a woman brings people and that person into the so world and without mm -hmm. that sexual intercourse how would we have religion how would we have people in the world so i think um it's a very important um, um aspect mm -hmm. of religion it's very in fact it gives birth sex mm -hmm. helps the prosperity mm -hmm. and the progress of religion and then of course procreation like procreation said, yes, bringing people yes, into this world yes. so actually without human beings there is no religion there's, no, there's nothing like um <laughs> the, the days of um um, what was it called? Immaculate conceptions so, are over. Right, okay. The day when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and overshadows you, you lose the God. Now, <laughs> it's man to man. <laughs> actually, it happened just once, mm -hmm. and you know, because actually, um, against the law of the Spirit, for mm -hmm. Spirit to operate in the, um, in the earth realm without a body. So, That's right. So, so basically, so, so sex is actually important, over important with religion, <laughs> where religion is involved. Now, as a pastor, do you think that sexual intercourse should be discussed? Yes, in church? yes, yes. Actually, because you you know um, you know many of the challenges that we have in the marriages that we are seeing and mm -hmm. hearing about falling apart mm -hmm. is um, due to the fact that these discussions were not made before and even mm -hmm. during the marriages. Okay. It is very, very, very important. Okay. I believe, in fact, just like, you know, we are in a time when we are now encouraging um, parents to, you know, teach, you know, their children sex education sure. right from their homes. Okay. So I feel, why don't, why, why, why can't we do that in church? church because well. for, let's be honest, some people, they, the only thing that they know about life, mm. they, they, they learn it in church. Of course. You know, so if we can teach um, uh, business, in we church? can teach um, other things, why can't we you teach, know, teach sex, sex in church because as it's well? Because it's very important because um, from my research and mm -hmm. um, books I've read and mm -hmm. magazines and, you know, some, you know, stuff, mm -hmm. I got to discover that most of the challenges of marriages in our world today is due to 
you know, yes. sexual, you know, it has some kind of has sexual, sexual, you know, issues, relations, yeah, something is related yes. to sex as well. So, so, so people sorry. should actually have sex. Why do you think that we are having so much divorce cases in Christian marriages than we are having in non-Christian marriages? Would you say that lack of sex or insufficient sexual consummation between couples is also contending with the institution of marriage in Christianity? Well, um, well, I, for me, I think um, there are a whole lot of um, issues, factors, uh, factors that could, okay. you know, cause that. Number one, you know, a whole lot of people marry. You know, they they, they spiritualize sex, romance, and you know, <laughs> the things they were spiritualize those um, things. And um, a lot of people married like mm -hmm. like Jacob. They married in the night. Okay, you know, and that connotes you know marrying without insight, okay. without a revelation of mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. And let me say this: if you know who you are, you will know who you need mm -hmm. you know a lot of people fall in, fall in love with the idea of getting of married, married. Uh, and don't know what it you know so and a lot of people uh, marry um, based on pastor's prescription that's right not you know? your own yes and some people don't even understand spec um, I am one. Hey, tell me, tell me. You're, you're, what is it about this spec thing spec, because the man. Truth, truth of the matter is okay. um, everybody um, do have you know those things that and you like. Preference. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. A man has what he likes in a woman. A okay. woman has what he, he likes in a man. man. And you know, when we come a, to a place where we we are conditioned to believe that we marry only for character, yes, and we don't marry for beauty, there's the, a problem. There's and uh, and you make it look like people that are beautiful don't have character. Character. And then people that have character are not beautiful people. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't marry character. Uh -huh. And then on the road, when I'm driving out from my house, and then I fall for beauty on the road so on i, I got to marry a beautiful you woman. kind of like have a split personality <laughs> right there split desire yeah, you know because <laughs> it's, it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> i like that so now paul when we're talking about spec what do you take out of this spec thing i want you to elaborate on it i you want know, you to expantiate more on spec you know a whole lot of people have what they like in the opposite sex okay you know some people may like uh, Thin. Some people may have like tall mm -hmm. and you know and all that stuff. And um, I'm not trying to say that marriage is all about the physical appearance. Okay. And even when you marry character, you're still going to encounter trouble. Okay. You understand? All right. Now it's going to be worse for you mm -hmm. when it happens to be with somebody. Trouble is with somebody that you don't even like in the first place. In it's, terms of the physical, physical appearance. physical appearances. Don't 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 get me wrong. Even when we're in the world, you know, there, there's this. Uh, um, you know, vibe that you got when you mm. walk into a room with mm. a beautiful woman, and mm. your 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 guys will be like, oh man, she's, she's, beautiful. she's beautiful. Something. Everybody. Why? Why would anybody want to marry somebody that? In fact, one of the things I believe that um, should be a factor before mm. you get married is you should ask yourself. Is this somebody that I want my kids to, to look like? like? Is this somebody that I would like to kiss? Is this yes. somebody that I can be proud of oh. walking on? The you know, road with ways. you know. I see a whole lot of married folks, you know, because maybe the the woman is no longer um is not what the man really likes. Like. You know, like somebody said the other day, there's mm -hmm. a difference between oh, this is my this is my woman, this mm -hmm. is my wife, or this is my my queen mm -hmm. and. Now my madam be this. No, ma you understand? <laughs> you know, you see some folks, you know, um, you, you see a man and a woman walking on the road together, you won't even know that they are together to because get, yeah. the woman is either in front and the or man is behind, behind or the other way, way around. around. So it's crazy mm -hmm. because you, you know, you could have chosen you know, it's it's crazy and this is where I hate the fact that it looks like um they say church people are very hypocritical. Yeah. You know, I, I hate that fact. That's you right. Know, because it's not, you know, that's just throwing it, you know, it's to not, everybody. It's, it's, it's not, making it a general it's terminology. Not, it's not like that. It's not like that. I believe when the Bible said, um, you know, Jacob saw Rachel, mm. saw something. Mm. You understand? There's something about Rachel that you know, you know, you know, motivated him to work extra years to get to get. Could have been just that. The Bible says that um, Leah was tender-eyed to me. I think she was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. She had these cat eyes, uh -huh. you know. But there's got to be something about that you know, made Rachel. Ja you know, Rachel that made Jacob like no, no. I, I, it could have I, been the waistline. Could be. Could have been the boobs. Could be. Could, be. It could have been the backside. Could be. It could have could been be. right could because be. I mean. Could are you trying to be political code on this no, show? Because no, I want no, you to no. actually tell me no, the no, truth. No, no, the tr tr <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you're giving me the vibes, but truth, truth is truth. Um, 
the, 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 your spec matters. Your spec matters. Matters. So if you're actually a man that likes a woman with the beautiful, rounded, rounded, big boobs, go for that. Basically, if I, if I want to deduce something from what Paul Young is saying here, if you like the fat, beautiful, chunky legs, go for that. If you like the beautiful, round waist, you know, big backside, go for that as a man. If you like a woman that wears red lipstick, don't go marry the one that has a pink lipstick all the time and if you like a woman that has big arms go marry a woman with big arms you like a tall woman marry a tall that woman with like dark skin chocolate whatever you like that's what i would deducing from what you yes. just said yes. there is something called a spec mm. for a man mm. but let me throw this question to you right now mm. there is something that i found out and it is called the quick sex syndrome okay <laughs> okay. are you surprised okay. it might just be something that you're just hearing but i'm telling you what the is it sex uh, premature ejaculation? There you go, you got okay. it. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? Because a lot of people, especially clergy, they just have sex because they want to have it. They're not having sex with romance. They're not having sex because they want the emotional connection. It, it, it goes back to what we said earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, when you spiritualize these things, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's just got to be a problem. There's going to be a problem. Okay. When you spiritualize these things, you know, um, you know. There's something about attraction, you okay. know. Who, you know, it 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 keeps the drive going. That's right. It keeps the drive That's going. That's right. You know, That's right. if she has what you, you know, sex is a mind thing. Okay. You know, and your mind is going to be affected by what it sees. Mm -hmm. Of course, that I know, you know that. I know. You know, and um, you know, I know about, about the premature Pre ejaculation, ejaculation thing. I think it also it could also be caused by pro, um, you know maybe uh, health problems health and all problems these things. Basically, I think it's a mind. Thing. It's a mind thing, it's and also the attraction, and the attraction, and all of that stuff. Do you think that there could be any other factor that could contribute to this quick sex syndrome thing, where a man just gets into a woman and not even up to one minute, boom? And then you know, some men actually have this selfish thing about selfish them, thing. okay? Right, that they just—it's all about them. So okay, so I came, so sister, you can take care of yourself. I'm done. Oh, okay, I'm done. And I think also, I think communication also matters because okay. you know we we come from a society where the woman is not supposed to be vocal about her sexual needs. Needs, okay. You know, and then you know sometimes she does it, or or maybe due to her own programming or orientation, mm -hmm. she does it. You know, just to please my man and please mm -hmm. my husband. It's not like something I would really like to. Now I even heard somebody say that um, there's a couple that actually pray mm -hmm. before it, they're married. They're, they, it's not they're like they're, they're fornicating. They and are they in a. <laughs> I don't understand. What's your take on that? It, it's 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 crazy. It's I I think it is ignorance. To it's do ignorance that. because you know this is <laughs> it's when when you're having sex in marriage is anointed. It's an it's anointed. I got something it's, else, it's, man. It's anointed. Sex was not supposed to be for for procreation alone. alone. It's supposed to be enjoyment. It's supposed to be. It is actually a glue. It's something yes. that glues the parties together. together. What the Bible says, and uh, Abraham knew, knew Sarah. Sarah. The Bible knew. Uh, you, <laughs> there's something about sex that you know is brings together. It brings together. Bond. In fact, sex is spiritual. Sex is spiritual. I like that. Sex, sex is, is anointing. And it is spiritual. It's spiritual. The Bible says that. No, no, no. The Bible says that he that joins himself to a harlot is one flesh with her. Yes, that's right. So, in fact, God ordained sex, sex in marriage, marriage to bring. It, it is the thing that actually makes the two one. One. That's right. Because I mean, without sex, there is no bonding. There, there is, is no, no bonding. bonding. And then you know what? For me, when the Bible says two shall become one, I want to say that I'm leaning towards the sex part. Yes, yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> very correct. Very, very, very correct. And the truth of the matter is, sex was ori originally created by God to be a glue. Mm -hmm. And that is why, mm -hmm. when it is, I was talking to some folks mm -hmm. the other time, and I said, let's be honest, the breakup that hurts the most mm -hmm. is the breakup that, you know, sex, you know, sex was involved. involved. And actually, that is so because you brought in something mm -hmm. that was not supposed to be there, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. we have to stay with the biblical you know you know uh, views, principles views principles. that sex is supposed to happen in, in marriage yes. you understand yes. now when you take that bonding element and bring it into that where where the hell do we have soul ties mm, the sex mm, it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 that's that and all this is showing you that sex is one very powerful and it is spiritual very it's very spiritual like you said very, very. i like the first lady of Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring yourself
house to live a busy one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a busy one Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place Just part of my new show.